What's going on, world? It's your boy T Man, right back at it, right back in the basement for another day of this battle rap. So, my main thought today is let's talk about battle rap and how we can make battle rap better and more sustainable in the future. Um, because the future of battle rap right now is is looking blim. And and let's just talk about first and foremost, like it's 2024 and we almost in, in March and we ain't really had no big events. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. Nothing to um, make you be like, yeah, man, Battle Rap Lit. Um, you know, we had the situation with Smack where he was talking about how Battle Rap pretty much is the money is cut and dry. The money's dry. Like, they asking for 50 and then you got to pay six battle rappers and you 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 in a you know what I'm saying 300 range of spending cuz all these battle rappers want so much money and then you in the red so ultimately Beasley smack they can't pay like they used to and then the caffeine era, and you know how it was with the uh, with the uh, era where the COVID and everything was going on. So you gotta think, man. Quarantine was popping. Everybody was making their cheese. It was like, and people ain't had that much to do. So battle rap and things like that was definitely a part of the agenda. But now it's just like slow y'all know I gotta keep the yeah, selling this on the website y'all know how it is see but um anyways it's almost March where is um the big battles you know what I'm saying we got Tay Rock contemplating retirement it just ain't looking good and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to blog about because at at a point, a uh, reason why I ain't been getting busy like I used to for the last months or whatever is because it ain't nothing really to talk about but the bull. So it's like, man, now I'm, I'm up here thinking like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to start talking about other events, you know, other things besides battle rap. And that's why when I created Top Flow ENT, I, I made sure I ain't putting nothing battle rap in there because at the moment I knew I was going to be talking about battle rap, but battle rap is volatile. You don't know what's going to be happening next. And you're going to put all your eggs in one basket and then this happened. You know, um, all these big leagues out there, it's like, Ain't been no pay-per-views. Ain't been nothing really this year for for me to be like, okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying? About a rap lit. So I've been doing my other one tools, you know what I'm saying? And and as far as what I'm talking about right now, I'm talking about battle rap, but yeah, we gonna be y'all gonna be seeing a lot more on here. Not me just talking, but just a lot more of everything. You feel what I'm saying? Um yeah, the money in Battle Rap looking bleak. 2024, man, I mean, it's just it's just a slow start. So I'm trying to figure it out. So I put the blog up about, you know what I'm saying, Tay Rock, because Tay Rock was talking about he on the retirement side after this year. It's almost like they know something going on, something about to happen. And it's not going to be good for Battle Rap. Because when Tay Rock talking about he was going to retire. I mean, Tay Rock went hard in 2023. And I feel like he feel he didn't get his respect due. So if he ain't getting his respect due. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know, man. Like, Battle Rap. <laughs> the people in Battle Rap, man, don't know how to keep this going. But to be honest with you, I think it was certain people, you know what I'm saying? Certain people like um, Verb, even if you're on like his opinion and stuff that he be talking about, he be keeping battle rap smooth and going and trying to keep people, you know what I'm saying, talking about it. 
but Surf, when he he was home, you know, he was definitely keeping battle rap relevant. Right now, man, it's starting to get light, and I I don't know how to I don't even know how to perceive this for real, because like I've been doing this for some years, a long time, and I'll be trying to figure out like what is battle rap missing? Why it ain't really taken all the way off to where it's like talked about as like a big time sport or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? And it's basically, to me personally, what I look at, I'll be like, um, these cats ain't marketing themselves as well as they should be, for real. You got some battle rappers, you know what I'm saying, that know how to market goods. You know, and I ain't been, I'm on, I put myself in the spot. You feel me? You talking about goods. We got um, Calico. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the big names, the Hitmans, the Murder Moots, you know what I'm saying? The Luxes, you know, all of them. You know, um, K Shine, he even marketed himself well. Because he's still keeping himself relevant right now. Although he said he'll never be on URL again. Um, DNA know how to market himself well. Hell, I bought merch from DNA. DNA hustles strong, you know. Um, but to get back to the meat and potatoes and everything, what everybody really, you know, clicked on this video for, man, battle rap is in trouble. Battle rap in trouble. Because me personally... I've been such a pillar to the battle rap scene as far as me posting the videos and, and being in this shit for, for a nice little second. And I'm looking at it like, man, you know, it's hard to really reap the benefits off of this unless you one of the major platforms that have been around since the very, very beginning. So me personally, I'm like, okay, I'm, you know, I know I, what I've done for battle rap, how I've been around putting on for the battle rap scene and culture so I'm like man I'm gonna take it up another notch why not right top flow we we basically we we not gonna succumb to the stress that's in battle rap right now like it's been hard to talk about stuff to the point where all people talk about is the messy business. No, nobody talk about no bars, who better than who, who winning, and you know, all that. But I'm going to still put up videos about stuff like that, for sure. But at the same time, I'm going to be talking about other, you know what I'm saying, world events, stuff that's hot, man. So y'all going to really like it, though. It ain't going to be like this. This video right here is just me. Like, I'm so fed up that I'm like, not, it's the energy ain't there, right? And that's because, like, battle rap, I wanted it to mimic how battle rap is right now, man. It's light. And, you know, um, you got goats talking about retiring. You got other um, goats leaving URL, where URL is where battle rap has been provident the most, like, and prevailing. But at the same time, smack like he can't pay these people like that. And if people feel like they worth a certain amount, they not hearing that right now. Right now, they like, yo, man, I, I'm popping, you know, I'm worth this amount. And Smack gonna just move on to to up and comer who was willing to take five times less. So ultimately, man, all I can say is this: you know, battle rap has its peaks, but it's a lot of valleys, man. It's a lot of up and down, y'all. Hey, it's 2024. We gotta get battle rap more lit and if it ain't gonna come back that's the reason why this video is being made because y'all gonna see a lot of energy coming through when, when we talking about all this other stuff that's going on in the world it's gonna be a lot more things to talk about than just battle rap man that's why I ain't been really talking about it lately man it's pitiful 
this pill. And, and for real, for real, man, you know, if they don't get it together real quick in 2024, it could be dying for real. It's your boy T-Man, man. Right back at it.